In today's video, we'll learn about the IP tables command in Linux and explore six practical examples you can apply in your everyday Linux operations. So, let's get started. First, let's get to know that IP tables command. The IP tables command is used to set up, maintain and inspect the tables of IP packet filters. These tables contain built-in chains which are rules to match packets going through the network. Each rule defines the action performed on a set of packets. The Linux-based firewall is maintained by the IP tables command which filters IPv4 or IPv6 packets. The firewall rules within this table specifies the target for each packet. There are four types of targets, except drop, queue, and return. The basic syntax of the IP tables command is IP tables, T table, and option. The IP tables options are divided into three main groups command, parameters, and other options. You can use man page to learn about them. To do so, open the terminal and type man IP tables. Enter. Scroll down and you will get a lot to learn. You can press Q to quit the page. An activated firewall on your system will enhance your experience of learning the IP tables command. Because with an activated firewall, the IP tables will display a visible set of rules to work on. Activate the firewall, type a command in your Ubuntu terminal, sudo ufw disable. Press enter, give the password, again enter. Now type sudo IP tables double dash flush, enter. Now again type sudo ufw enable, enter. This will activate the firewall on your system. Now let's see with the examples. To display all the firewall rules and status, we can use the L option and combine the N and V options to print the values in numeric and verbose format. Remember to run the IP tables command as the super user using the sudo keyword. So in your terminal, type sudo IP tables option N, option L and V. Enter. You can see the firewall rules on the terminal. Want to display the firewall rules along with the line numbers? Simple. Use sudo IP tables, the same three options N, L, V, then line numbers. You can see that it's displaying the firewall rules with the line numbers. You can check whether a rule exists on your firewall or not using the IP tables command in Linux with the option check. In this example, I'll check if the S192.168.254.0z drop rule exists in the input chain of the filter table. To do it, type the command in the command prompt. sudo IP tables t filter check input s then 192.168.254.0. .168.254.0 JDrop Hit the enter button. You can see that the desired rule exists in the filter table. You can insert a new rule in your system's IP tables using the I option with the IP tables command in Linux. Here I will insert the rule S192.168.254.0 JDrop at the second line of the input chain. You can do the same, just follow along. So type the command sudo IP tables I, then input, it will be in the second line. So 2 S192.168.254.0. JDrop. Press enter. Again type sudo IP tables and the option NLV and the line numbers. Enter. See, I have inserted the desired rule at the second line of the input chain. You can delete a firewall rule using the IP tables command also. You have to use the D option in this case. Now I'll delete the existing rule which I have just inserted in the previous example. You saw that the rule is specified in the line number 2. To delete this rule, just type sudo IP tables option D input s192.168.254.0 jdrop. Now hit the enter button. 
and type sudo iptables option nlv and dash dash line numbers. Therefore, it's no longer present in the second line of the input chain. You can block an IP address using the IP tables command in Linux. Moreover, you can append a certain rule for blocking using the A option. The IP address to be blocked can be indicated as a source with the option S. Upon receiving a packet from the specified IP address, you can block it by setting its target to drop with the option J. In this example, I will block the address 192.168.254.0. Now follow me. So type the command in the command prompt sudo IP tables option a input s 192.168.254.0 j drop and press the enter button now type sudo ip tables option n l v line numbers enter here we can see that i have appended the rule to block the ip address 192.168.254.0 and this completes our detailed discussion of the IP tables command with six practical examples. It gives users the privilege to manipulate firewall rules and networks connected to the system. If you want to learn more, check out the links in the description box and don't forget to subscribe for more simple Linux tips and tricks. Bye!